South fans, a disappointing nil-all draw here at JL Murphy Reserve. I say disappointing because really, uh, you know, after Port Melbourne went down to 10 men with approximately 14 minutes to go, you know, plus plus injury time, really thought, you know, South Melbourne, who were dominating in the second half, had managed to wrestle control of the game, uh, create more chances, have more possession, you know, going down to 10 men for Port Melbourne, especially their goalkeeper Withers, who was really the man of the match. Uh, you know, really the expectation in the crowd was that South Melbourne would be able to find the goal. We didn't, for example, play a higher line. We didn't take a defender off and put on an attacker. I didn't feel we changed, we, you know, we, we changed anything to really capitalise on the fact that we had a man extra. You know, it's like, we thought that you know simply by having a younger goalkeeper on there that that would be enough. Now, unfortunately, if you're not you know if 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 you're not creating chances or um, you know you've created all your chances you know in in the ensuing period, your players are tired. You know you probably give it three to five minutes. Uh, you know like that when when you're in that scenario, you don't have much time to play with, and then and then I think um, we needed to see some changes. Unfortunately, uh, that didn't happen today. We're a very very well structured team set up to basically give nothing up in defence. That again played out today. Um, Port Melbourne, you know, had one or two good chances in particular in the second half. There was one where. Goalkeeper Pierce Clark, you know, had to make a sharp save. He made it. Um, and ultimately, the defining moment is going to come down to the 28th minute in the first half where Harrison Sawyer, you know, missed the penalty. I did mention Withers uh, was probably the man of the match. I will say one thing uh, about the penalty. I don't want to be over-analytical, you know, put the players down if they're hearing this. Uh, but what I will say is I did see Harrison Sawyer miss a penalty in the preseason uh, against Melbourne Knights. And... Obviously, he's missed one again today. Now, my analysis is going to be that in the two times that I've seen him take those penalties, and I know in Queensland, he's taken penalties um, and scored many, but I felt that in both those scenarios, um, you know, he's gone for placement over, you know, over disguise or, or, or over power or over simply trying to outfox the keeper. It's just that if you're trying, that in my opinion, if you're going to go for placement, and you're not going to try outfox the keeper, you know, you're not going to try to do the Eden Hazard, you know, stand up until the keeper dives, place it the other way. You know, you really have to hit it with some venom, right? So, um, you know, he got it really nicely in the corner to the naked eye. I haven't seen the replay, but I just felt it was hit, um, you know, too softly. And Withers was able to, to get across at full stretch to pull off a wonderful save. Now, unfortunately, the system that we're playing at the moment, you know, very, very well structured, well drilled. You know, you see the players out there, they have absolutely no doubt, you know, what their role in the team is and how the how the team should play. Um, but currently, uh, the way the team sets out and the way the team plays, we're not creating a, a bucket load of, for example, tapping chances or chances, you know, within the 10, you know, approximately 10 yards out. Our chances, you know, we may get one chance like that in the game. Obviously, we got it last week where Henry Hoare uh, produced a bit of magic and, and created a tap in for Wallen. We didn't get that scenario today. We had a lot of balls into the box. Obviously, we had Jerry win that penalty in the 28th minute, which we weren't able to convert. And on the topic of Jerry, I think it's worth mentioning, uh, he did play a full game today. I felt he did really well. It's his best game so far. It was great to see him drive with the ball on multiple occasions, uh, also have a shot on a couple of occasions. One time, I think in the first half, he drove into the box, got onto his right. You could tell, you know, a prior Jerry may have connected better with his right foot. You know, he's shown that he can do that, for example, against Heidelberg at Olympic Village um, in 2019, I think it was. Uh, today, he, you know, he, he didn't connect. The ball went straight to Withers along the ground, but in the second half, he, he latched onto a, a you know, a more powerful shot that forced a save from Withers. Um, yeah, he showed he showed a lot more. He showed a lot more. But um, and, and that was definitely one of the positives that we take out from today's game. You know, not forgetting that we are a very w- well structured team that's not going to concede um, many goals. Where every player is working hard and putting in a shift. It's just, I guess, at South Melbourne, we, you know, we we demand success. We haven't had success for a couple of years, and. You know, we're, we're we're playing teams where we feel that we're dominating the game, or we're having possession, we're having periods of dominance where we're not capitalising, or we're not taking golden opportunities. For example, like a penalty, and then we have you know half chances, which are probably more in our favour than than the opposition's favour, where we don't connect properly, and it's just it it just becomes like a frustrating game where we know we're not going to concede, but we don't seem to have a clear way to score a goal, and 
you know, unfortunately, that creates unnecessary pressure on, on everybody, like on the players, um, on the coaching staff. Uh, because at the end of the day, you know, South Melbourne's undefeated after four rounds, but we're currently in six spot, um, you know, with six points. We know that the league is very close. If we win next week, we, you know, we, we might jump two or three places. But at the moment, we're not showing the level of fluency required uh, in the final th- third to get goals easy. It's like we need to play 90 minutes to get one goal. Um, you know, and, and, if, and, if, and if we had that as an average, uh, you know, if we actually averaged one goal, great. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's not the case. You know, um, I'm, I'm just trying to think. We... We scored a goal against Heidelberg. Uh, we scored a goal against Eastern Lions. We scored a goal against Oakley. So uh, we've basically scored three, conceded two after four matches. It's outstanding defending um, and not and not good enough attacking uh, is is really is really where it comes down to. Um, and yeah, I think I think uh, the the team will go away f- growingly frustrated. Every single game uh, that we've played this season, you could put a case forward that South Melbourne should have won. Uh, you know, Oakley might might be against that, but at the end of the day, South Melbourne had out an outstanding first half last week against Oakley. The goal that Oakley scored was handball, and South Melbourne had two or three penalties um, at, you know, good, good shouts for penalties, where I'd say at least definitely one, maybe two should have been given. The ref waved them on. Um, yeah, so... Every game against Eastern Lions, uh, we went behind to a, to a Christmas cracker, but then equalised early on in the second half. Um, then we just piled on the pressure and couldn't find the winner. Today, you know, the first half, obviously we miss a penalty. It's a relatively, you know, well-balanced second half, but then South Melbourne goes on to dominate for 25, 30 minutes of the second half. They go down to 10 men. We still can't find the winner. You know, at some point, um, you know, there's unnecessary pressure being created here. You know, I, I talked about it. Um, you go, you know, you leave JL Murphy, Murphy Reserve with three points and all of a sudden we have eight points and we find ourselves in, I think, third place, second or third place. Uh, we leave with a draw. We've only won one game. Sure, we're undefeated, but we've only won one game with, with three draws and we're in sixth spot. It's a very unforgiving league. We know that. It's the beauty of the NPL Victoria. Um... And yeah, look, I'm. Uh, I guess I'm. I'm guess yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm disappointed. But on on the flip side, I'm also thankful that you know we've got a set of players where every single one of them you know gives everything on the field. They all play, you know, positively. There's no bad attitudes. You can tell the dressing rooms united. Uh, they're doing their best to try and get a win. Let's hope Altona next week is going to be, you know, the, the marker in the ground where the boys just take that next step. You know, I feel it's finally balanced for us at the moment because we've got such a good base, um, but we're not scoring goals. We can either start scoring goals and really, you know, um, rocketing up the table, to be fair, because, sure, our defence may, may not be as solid as it is all season, but we have outstanding players, um, you know, in defence, in goals, um, Luke Pavlou and Josh Wallen are also very, very good players, um, you know, as workhorse midfielders. So, you know, you could foresee us being able to remain consistent. But whilst, um, you know, whilst we're not scoring, it remains finely balanced. You might concede a goal next week against Altona and we lose the game and we lose 1-0. Um, or we might score 1-0 and then, you know, all of a sudden uh, we're in the top four. So that's... It's it's a it's a it's a dangerous way to play. Um, I think if you're South Melbourne, I can see I can see why the coach is doing it. Um, you know, to be so well structured, to always try and target uh, conceding zero goals puts you in a position of not losing games. It's true, uh, and and we've seen teams in the past who have who have based themselves on that, um, and you know they've had they've had they've had good seasons, uh, but ultimately. It is, it is fraught with danger if you're not creating, uh, you know, one or two golden chances a game which are taken. Now, today, that chance was created from a penalty. It wasn't taken. Um, everybody can miss a penalty. It's going to happen in most players' careers. You know, probably eight or nine out of ten penalty takers will miss in-season penalties sometime in their life. It's happened to Harrison Sawyer. Let's hope next week if we create that golden chance or if we're at a couple or if we create a couple of them, we take them. Uh, because, yeah, we are South Melbourne. We need to be targeting uh, three points even away from home, and it's absolutely without question, 
You know, we have the players to do that. So, yeah, I encourage all South fans next week. Let's get to Altona's ground on Saturday. Let's continue to support the boys. Luck has to fall our way at some point. We'll have to take a chance, and hopefully we can walk away from Altona with three points, uh, which will see us in a very, very strong position in the NPL Victoria 2021 season. Go South!